welcome back to 11 Lessons Online. Okay, we're back with uh, question 6 okay, of our 2017 paper 1. Uh, this is H2 Math. Okay, we're going to be looking at this question on vectors. So vectors is a, it's a chapter that I know a lot of students tend to struggle with. Uh, but not to fear, okay, this question really isn't that hard. Okay, it may look a bit intimidating, okay, but it's actually quite easy when you actually uh, start writing. Uh, I start, start, start to actually solve it. Alright, so part one asks you, okay, interpret geometrically. Interme uh, interpret geometrically the vector equation r equals to a below tilde plus t b, where a and b are constant vectors, and t is a parameter. Alright, and then part two, okay, we'll look at part two later on. Alright, so part one is very simple. This is actually your basics of vectors. So r equals to a plus t b is usually how um vectors are usually expressed. Alright, so this essentially is the answer. Okay, I'll just write the answer down. Uh, and after that, we'll look at it from a graphical point of view. So the vector R, tilde, okay, represents the position vector of a variable point. So whenever you look at R equals to something, okay, it is usually a variable point. So that means any value okay, that, that you sub in um, can take the place of R that lies on a line. So this is actually the equation of a line. Back to your basics on vectors. All right, and this line, it passes through a certain point. So the line is one that passes through a point in this case a right because a is a constant vector so this is essentially like oa so it passes through point or position vector let's use position vector since that's what the question gave us a and is parallel to b to vector b all right so this essentially is the basics okay of what an equation of a line is so equation of a line is always r equals to a of uh, any given uh, point on 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 a on a uh, on a line all right then you add whatever the direction vector is so if you do look at it from a uh, a diagram point of view okay it will look something like this so this is o and then this is let's say r over here all right so essentially this all right, it will be your direction vector of B. Uh, so it's not a capital B, it's a small b. And A will be over here. So this is basically what it looks like. So A will be this the, uh, uh, position vector up going up here. All right, so this is just the equation of a line. Very, very simple. All right, part two. Interpret geometrically the vector equation r dot n equals to d, where n is a constant unit vector and d is a constant scalar, stating what d represents. So this is a question on planes, right? We're going into the realm of planes. It's also quite a very simple answer to give. Part two. So if you do draw the plane, okay, usually a plane looks something like this. All right. So usually you have a normal that goes up. This is usually n. Alright, and this is usually 90 degrees to the plane. Alright, so in this case, they ask you that uh, based on what you have seen in part 1, r dot n equals to d, k obviously so shows that r likewise is the position vector of a variable point, uh, variable point r that lies on the plane now. Okay, and then the plane is basically perpendicular to d and has a displacement of d from the origin. So that is essentially what uh, I basically just said what the answer is, right? So d is usually when you have a point like a, uh, okay, let's not use A, let's use B, for example, no, no, B is also being used. Let's use C then. So something like C dot N. So that will usually give you your displacement. Alright, so let's do this part. So the answer just need to explain in words now. So the vector R represents the position vector of a variable point so likewise you can sub in any value to take this variable point r 
that lies on a plane. So now we're looking at the equation of a plane. And this plane is perpendicular to the normal. So it's always perpendicular to n and has a displacement which is any point um, dot your n, your normal and has a displacement of d so the reason why it's a scalar is because it is a number so it is no longer a vector k of d so there's no squiggly line below from the origin okay so this is your answer very very simple part to question 2 part, I mean part 2 Okay, then the last part, part 3, is 3 marks. So it's a slightly uh, supposed to be the hard one, but actually it's also very simple. So given that b dot n is not equal to 0, solve the equation r equals to a plus t b plus, uh, and r dot n equals to d in the, and find r, okay, in terms of a, b, n, and d. Interpret the solution geometrically. So this question is also very simple. It's a very um, simple simultaneous equations. So r equals to a plus T B and R dot N equals to D. So because they ask you to to find um to solve the equations okay of this and this, in order to find R in terms of A, B, N, and D, you need to use simultaneous, which means you're trying to get rid of T. So in, in order to get rid of T, you have to use simultaneous equations. So this equation one, this equation two, so this usual sub one into two. Don't ever sub two into one, okay? That's not work that way. Um, we always use the, the one that um, r equals to something, right? So you just get a plus t b uh, whole thing dot n would be equivalent to d. So expand this out, just multiply by each other. a dot n plus t b dot n equals to d. So what you can do now is we want to situate t on one side. So you leave t on this side. You get t b dot n equals to d over a dot n. And now you just want to leave t on this side. So you're just going to take um um sorry this is wrong by the way. Uh, this should be d minus because you just bring the positive over. So it's just d minus a dot n. So all you'll be left with is d t equals to d minus a dot n over b dot n. Okay, and there's your answer of t. And so now they want you to just um, leave everything in the answer of a, b, n, and d. So you're just going to sub t back into your original equation 1. And you will just get the answer, which is r equals to a plus d minus a dot n over b dot n b right so this is basically the answer done and now they ask you to interpret this solution geometrically so because you're just solving simultaneous equations whereby you're solving this equation into the plane so it's your line into the plane it is very very simple right you're just going to be your answer in this case would just be it is the point of intersection between the line and the plane and these are basically um, the, 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 the equation 1 and 2 so the line is equation 1 okay, and the plane is equation 2 Alright, so that is your answer for you. Very, very simple question to do on vectors. Right, I think later on in the paper, there will be a slightly more complicated question on vectors. Uh, not to worry. So this question is really asking you about learning how to interpret geometric um, your, your geometric interpretation of vectors, as well as to be able to just um, do simple simultaneous equations. Alright, so that's all I have for this video. Okay, if you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. Um, as well as to subscribe to the channel. Okay, I'll have the next few parts coming out really, really soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, if not, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.